Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike, your favorite Italian here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to improve your iDevice battery life on iOS 5. Now, I have an iPhone 4S right here, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you right here. That's an iPhone 4S, and I'll show you what firmware I have. Settings, in general, about. Scroll down, you can see right there. Version 5.0.1. And uh, soon we're ready in settings. I'll show you guys how to improve it. So, the first thing you can do is go into your Wi Fi. And when you're not on Wi Fi, just turn it off. Just like that. Because when your Wi Fi chip is still on, it's still looking for Wi Fi and it's taking up your battery. So, to save it, just turn it off. Put inside on Wi Fi on. I'll leave it on. And another thing you can do is go to settings in general and scroll down to reset right here. And this won't be a problem if you have a new device, but if you have an older device or even the iPhone 4 is, uh, as from a backup from your iPhone 4 or the iPhone, um, all you have to do is go to reset network settings because all the Wi Fi networks that you can ever connect it to will save on your iDevice and we'll just take battery up for no reason and at, after you do that if you want to then you can go into settings then notifications and you can see um, these just the apps that I want to be notified of as you can see like I I want my PayPal and stuff to know when somebody hates or something and my score center to know what a football game going on or a baseball games going on. My Skype to know when I'm getting a call. And like stock widget, I guess I don't really need a notification center, but I have it there anyways. Uh, you can see Blood and Glory. I don't really need that to be notified of or anything. Game center, don't really need it. Calendar, that saves a lot of battery life actually. So. So, once you turn the calendar off, you'll actually improve your battery life a lot. Uh, Soldier knows best when he, update, when he uh, uploads an, a video. I have it for where it like pops up on my Facebook and my Twitter. Uh, TV Guide. I don't need it because it doesn't not doesn't really, I don't use it for notifying when shows are on. So, stuff like that. And then you can also go into settings and location services. And some of this stuff you don't need at all to be looking for your location because, like, uh, PayPal, it doesn't need to know where your location is. Facebook, no reason for it to be knowing. Cards, no reason. And my camera apps, really no reason at all for them to know why or where I'm at. But, like, speed test. Find the closest server, Siri, to find places around me, shop savvy, to find uh, prices around me, Safari, I guess you don't really need it, but I like to keep it on. My weather, just to find my local weather and stuff. Um, you can also go into right here for those location services and scroll down to see system services. First thing you can shut off is setting time zone because usually your phone sets the time zone by itself anyways. Um, this, this other stuff I don't really need at all. Traffic, don't need it. Location based iAds, that's, that's using your location also. Diagnostics and use, usage, you don't need that to be sent. And compass calibration, if you use the compass, keep it on, but I don't. So. Um, you can also go to settings, then general, then scroll down to restrictions, set a nice basket for you, there you go, and you can disable ping, because that uses a lot of battery, and disable things you don't want, especially if you're a parent, you can, uh, use this to not allow your kids to do or use some things, so it's pretty, it's pretty good if you're a parent. Another thing you can do is go into settings, then general, then about, scroll down to diagnostics and usage, and don't send. 
because whenever something like an app crashes, it automatically sends that diagnostic to Apple, and it's always looking for for those. So that saves a lot of battery life. And then another thing you can do is go in. Another thing you can do actually is do a forced reset. So if I just zoom out a little bit real quick, you you can do a forced reset. And now be aware this doesn't do anything to like delete anything from your iDevice. Some people think it does, but it doesn't. So what you do is you hold the home button and the power button. And it will say slide power off, but don't do anything up. Don't go slide it off. And release the home button and press the power button and turn it on because what this does is deletes all your apps running in the background and clears the RAM of it so you can keep your device running faster and faster. So this is just a very cool thing to uh, just make it go faster, especially if you're jailbroken, which I'm not. But if you are, it'll make it go faster, clears up the RAM and everything. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, peace.